this is our seventh annual pet parade. We were across the street for a few years and now we're here at the buy and save area and we're very fortunate that Aaron Bain from the Posh Pet, which is a wonderful pet store in the village and who does great grooming, she's been doing my dogs now for a couple of years and uh, anyway, she's sponsoring the whole thing and it's made it so easy this year. She, she and the Angus, Dorothy and Dick Angus also helped tremendously with this. So we're very appreciative and I think the parade is about to start. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going to be happening at the Pet Parade in Saratoga, California. Well, this is the um, seventh annual uh, pet contest and pet parade. And um, so we just have dogs from all over Saratoga and, and possibly elsewhere coming to um, just show off what they can do and how great they look and just uh, mingle and have fun. And, and we are, um, this year we're having a a raffle to benefit um, the Perfect Dog Rescue and Fosmus, um, which is um, oh, look at this. Friends of San Martin Animal Shelter, because I always forget that. That's a big word. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a, it's a big thing. Yeah. But um, and there are a couple of agencies that we really support, and um, so we're going to be having a raffle to benefit them. The, benef the proceeds go to benefit them. We have all sorts of different categories. We have everything from best homemade costume, to uh, pet owner look-alike, to um, dogs that behave really well, and dogs that perform tricks. He's 11 years old, but acts like he's about four. Yes. And he's very good with children, old people, and other dogs and other animals. And his uh, greatest attribute is that he doesn't bark. That's a real attribute. Yeah, whippets don't know how to bark. They never bark. But he thinks he's a prince. <laughs> and he likes to take his toy with him wherever he goes. Best award of all, pet owner look-alike. <laughs> and and have your kids ever said you look like your pet? Yes, it is. It's kind of a joke around our house, you know, with the uh, the gray and the black. So, um, indeed. <laughs> yes, it's true. The black hair, the gray mustache, and what is your name again? Let's see. I'm Brian. Brian. Berg, Brian Berg, and this is Shadow. Okay. She's a she's a six year old miniature schnauzer. And, and yeah. you are a lucky dog to yeah. have a lucky father. <laughs> <laughs> We're the perfect dog. We're a dog rescue group based in the Bay Area, uh -huh. um, and we get dogs from various shelters, including the San Jose Shelter, San Martin, uh, Merced, and these are dogs that are on lists that need rescue that they can't put up for adoption mm -hmm. there for various reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and so today we have a lot of small dogs. I see. Um, and a they're lot of very adorable. sweet, cute dogs. Yes, right. yes. And they're all available for adoption. They're all very friendly. They've all been spayed or neutered. If someone sees these on television, how do they call you to adopt a dog? Um, the best thing to do is to go to theperfectdog.org. Perfectdog.org. Yes. Perfectdog.org. Yes. Perfect yes. Said it again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you very much. Isn't that adorable? This is Noel, and uh, it's one of the dogs that my wife uh, rescued from, with her animal rescue uh, uh, organization. And when she brought her home, uh, she was on her way to Petco to show her, and I said, no, we're going to keep this dog. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> sort of rare for me. I got to 
can zoom in on this one. Your puppy is five years old, and how old are you? Ninety-two. Well, wow. So we got to say one, two, three, yay for ninety-two. And uh, have you had dogs all your life? Oh, yes. And I've been every year to the pet, pet parade. Right. So I bet you're our most loyal followers, attendees, whatever. Yes. And you know what? We're looking forward to having you here next year. I'll be here. You are, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about your pet? Oh, Bonnie. My son got her for me. She's a Scottish Terrier and she's five years old and I got her when she was only a few months old. Yeah. And how many pets do you think you've had in your lifetime? I think about 20. I believe you've got the tiniest dog. Wouldn't you say that? I guess so. Last year she won second. She did. And then the year before she won third. <laughs> Best so, dress. So maybe it's the time to win first. I know. We're hoping. We're but hoping. I think that dog's going to win first, the prison dog. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> how old is Tell She's six. Six. Six years old. And we call her, I just told the judges, we call her the bionic dog because she had two knee replacements. Oh my gosh! Her last one was right before Christmas. Yeah. How he came into your life? Well, I purchased him a f few months ago from a reputable breeder, and I've been training him since he was eight weeks old. And he's mine, so. He's mine! Yeah. And so now you can put all your heart and soul into him. Yes. And what is his name? Sid. Sid? Yeah. And was he named after anyone in particular? He is named after a DJ. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I hope he's going to be part of your life for a long, long time. Oh, he will be. And we're going to say, we're going to say, hi, Sid. Yeah, hi to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Whoops. Not, not, oh. yeah. He was a rescue uh -huh. from the Nike. Right. And and is there any special care that you have to give because she's so tiny? No, not at all. He thinks he's he thinks he's uh, you know a Doverman. The winner of, uh, why don't you tell us what those ribbons she stand for? She won first place in the silliest trick. Yes. And second place on the best trick. Wow. And you are going home as, and your mommy is going to put up your awards on the wall? She is, right next to her picture, right by the TV. Right next <laughs> to your picture, and you're going to go home as the queen of them all. <laughs>